All right, guys, so today we're running the bounce ball for halibut. I'm gonna show you what we're doing, how we're catching them. I got my little flasher up front, and then I got the hoochie to the grub tail, and then we're gonna be using those cannonball leads, which I'll go into in a second. I'm gonna show you guys how to catch these halibut, how we're reeling them up, everything you need to know, basically, for bounce balling halibut, because bounce balling can be a really big pain to learn. So let's help you learn that pain, and I'll see you guys when we're on some fish. Whew. Yeah, guys, one of the things you got to go over that's pretty crucial is when you drop your bait, make sure that boat is moving. That way you don't lose any of your gear. That actually, that hoochie's got a good action to it. It does, with the grub towel in it. Yeah. Make sure, guys, make sure when you're dropping it, you're dropping it down slow. Don't just let it free fall to the bottom. You can see I'm very much monitoring it and letting it down nice and slow. All right, guys, as you see right now, we got the rod in the holder at a good angle, and we got that bounce ball just down and we gotta keep a speed below a mile an hour just to keep the constant contact and we're gonna be going over some ripples i'm out here today with uh, waterman's life go check him out on twitch tv it's awesome to watch him live i tune in quite a bit but yeah guys it's just a waiting game now until we get that strike and i got that drag loose just so i can hear that little subtle bite the halibut do all right boys we got our first halibut on Definitely a decent halibut, dude. All right. First fish of the day, chat. Let's see what we got. Heard him. Like Taking it nice and slow, guys. When you're reeling in these halibut, it's all about going slow. YouTube, not Instagram. Yep. All right, guys. So just cranking nice and slow. Oh, nice butt, dude. And my FG knot's not going through the guide. There it goes. Um, it's probably net. It's probably gonna be a close one. Definitely net. There he is. That's definitely eagle. Oh, oh, he just came off right there. <laughs> Oh my god. You're good. Next time walk forward too. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, he just barely shook his head when I put the net in the water and it came yeah, off. Yeah, that's how they do it though, dude. You think he was legal? I think it might have been short. It could have been. Ah, oh, dude, I can't believe it came off right there. Right, and it was no one's mistake. Dude, I think no, he just put it he did that stupid habit thing where they put it in reverse. They're all white, dude. I told you their favorite color is white. Yeah. It's and guys, something very important is stay vigilant of your rod tip. Any difference that it's making, check it out. Because that might result in a fish being on there, a smaller one, whatever. But pay attention, keep your drag nice and loose, and you will get that halibut. Alright guys, so with the grubs, what we're doing is we're just gonna rig it like a swim bait, honestly, but with a stinger hook. So gonna put it through the nose. Whatever you whatever side you choose to be the top. Just push it through like so with the J. And then once that's in, extend your um, little stinger. All right, guys, when you do that, just tighten up your snell, make everything look nice and presentable like so. Not too tight, but you want you know the line to be a little bit hidden. And you're gonna grab your little hoochie, which is key, and just slide it right over top that on to all that action don't wrap yourself up like i just did and you'll be good to go dude I, that's getting bit right there look at that oh my dodger i'm not happy yeah, he's there yeah whatever it is it was not big it might have came off might be like a little sand bass or something Let's see, boy. Let's see. I've had one lemon. We got a surprise baby halibut on. Got him? Woo! <laughs> Dude, that's stupid. Did it come right out of his mouth? Yeah. There we go, boys. Halibut one of the day. Whoa, he's on the boat. Clicks. That's hilarious, dude. I was like, I was like, I, I was like, why is my line so far scoped out, you know? Yeah. And there, nope, I mean, you're not gonna feel a bite with a baby halibut like that. That's what I'm ball. saying though about, all right, about the guy that taught me the, the, or 
probably fine-tune the bounce ball technique. Yeah. Any little differences. There we go, boys. First halibut landed of the day, just a little guy. If you also look at his stomach, you can tell he's been on the move quite a bit because of the fact that it's all looks. So you can tell he's been moving around yeah. quite a bit. It's all beat up stomachs. He's been cruising around some rough bottom. Show the camera right here. Yeah. <laughs> Smaller hey. than the other one, but no skunk. No skunk on the boat. Let's let him go back down to the bottom where he belongs. Yep, the hoochie is where it's at. I'm glad I switched to the hoochie. The, the white. They just work, man. And then the from the fish. All right, guys. So you saw those first two halibut. Those were on a smaller little grub, all white as always. I'm a big proprietor on the all white for halibut. It's always worked for me. Never failed. Always got the most bites in all white. So I might be switching to a bigger all white grub because halibut are um, they're very big on not wasting uh, energy on smaller stuff because they're very big on calorie intake and they're super predators basically on the bottom. They are the apex predator on the bottom besides like a shark that might come up and eat them. So yeah, we're gonna see if that gives it a better opportunity to catch some fish. Feel big or? How we looking, how we looking? All right, boys, we got another, what might be a halibut, no, sand bass. Sand bass. <laughs> I knew we were getting short bit by something. Here's your bycatch from bounce falling, guys. First bycatch I've ever gotten though. Seriously? Yep. Oh dude, we had one day where we were just smoking the sand bass. That's a bycatch right there. <laughs> so I'm gonna give you guys the rundown on bounce spawn. When it comes to fishing close to shore, you're gonna want a lighter little cannonball weight. As you guys saw when we were working the 50 to 60 foot range, we were using the 12 ounce, so like a pound, or 16 ounce, sorry, so a pound cannonball. And you know, Jeremy hooked it up today. Go check him out at Waterman's Life once again on Twitch TV. But he hooked it up with flashers. These actually aren't flashers. What are they Dodgers. Dodgers. These are Dodgers. So there's flashers and Dodgers. Dodgers go like this, and the flashers spin. But when it comes down to the, the important thing, it's all about getting that curly tail with the hoochie above it, guys. Putting that stinger hook. The two fish today, the one that was like decent, might have been legal, that came off right of the boat, quick release. He was on that treble hook, guys. He was on that treble hook. I mean, obviously, I would use bigger uh, hooks, but we didn't have time to re rig. And, you know, halibut like to eat the bigger baits. As you guys see here, something was chewing on it. But it's awesome, guys. Bounce falling is probably the best way to do it. If you guys want to work an area, consistently catch fish, you want to keep the boat right there at a one knot and below. Guys, it just went up, but I promise you it was below one knot two seconds ago. But that's what you guys want to do. And you guys want to work little ledges and everything like that in sandy areas, and you guys will catch a ton of fish, I promise. And for the rod and reel, guys, Basically, my reel is a Daiwa Saltus, a 15, or 30H, my bad, uh, 30H. It's a great, great uh, reel. Overall, can hold it up against pretty much anything. I've caught bluefin tune on it to tarpon. It gets the job done. And for the rod you want for bounce falling, you want a more forgiving rod. This is a Premier rod. It's pretty much glass. Um, you know, the tip bounce is hard. You want that more forgiving rod, and especially when fighting halibut. So you want that more forgiving rod because halibut are uh, a fish that can turn it in reverse and shake the hook right out of their mouth. So you want a more forgiving rod and you want to wind up nice and slow. So I'll see you guys when we're catching more fish. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you guys out a ton on how to catch halibut. As you guys see, sand bass are a big bycatch, but at the end of the day, the bounce flowing is worth it because it gives you the best opportunities to work the ground that halibut hang out around. So if you're new here, Please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It means a ton when you guys support the channel and help me grow. I love all you guys. You guys always are awesome. And uh, leave a comment down below on if you think uh, if there's any more how-tos you want me to do. But yeah, leave a comment down below if there's any more how-tos you want me to do. Because I can do them all. How to catch calico bass coming up soon. And guys, I know I already made a how-to catch halibut video. But I want to show you guys how to do it on the bounce ball. Because I've been asked that question a thousand times. And I've never really gave a straightforward video on it. I've done it one time, but this time we got it. We got the video for you. And I'll see you guys next week on the water. Peace.